Hello everyone, it's Dazzling One, and this week's discussion is on conspiratainment. And if you tuned into this past live stream, you probably noticed that I used the screen sharing feature, and many of you in chat commented on how you enjoyed it, so I figured for this week's discussion that I use it as well. And if you're someone who likes to walk away from your device, I will be flipping between tabs, so be mindful of that. And also, before I get into the topic of discussion, I want to show you guys this new community feature on YouTube. I don't know if all of you can access it. I know, at least for me, I need a desktop to see it or to set my tablet into desktop mode to view it, and not all channels have it yet, but I'll be using it to post any stories that I find interesting, any updates, as well as polling. Right now I'm taking a poll over what cult I should cover for the next Death Cult series, so right now there are 47 votes in and these two are tied. With all that said, I remember when I first heard the word Illuminati. I was 17, I was a senior in high school, I heard it through random people in my school talking about how you could sell your soul to the devil and so and so was a member of the Illuminati. So being naturally curious, I went to the best place for information and that is Google. So I googled it and I wasn't very impressed by what I found so then I went to the next best place for information, YouTube. And I came across this really interesting documentary about the Illuminati and the music industry, and I was blown away by it. So from there, I began learning about how there were satanic hand gestures, there were signs and symbols associated with the Illuminati, as well as with ancient pagan religions, and it really opened my eyes to predictive programming, and I looked deeper into the music industry and to just the entire in entertainment industry and I was after a while bored by it all but something really interesting happened Sandy Hook Aurora and the Boston bombings and I began looking more into like events and how some were false flags psyops or hoaxes and from there I looked more into politics and into banking and I kept going deeper and deeper down the rabbit hole, learning about different secret societies, how they control different factions of the government, and I was really, really enlightened from just that one YouTube search. But things aren't quite the same anymore. This is six years later, and if you put in the word Illuminati like I've done here on the screen, this is what you get. BuzzFeed Unsolved, Supernatural, Season 1, Episode 2, The Secret Society of the Illuminati, BuzzFeed Blue is the uploader, which is just another BuzzFeed channel, and we see Beyonce on the cover of it, and this fits in with the narrative of what the Illuminati is. Many think the Illuminati is a secret society run by a bunch of celebrities. Somehow they're running an ancient order from 2,000 years ago that runs the world, and this is where a lot of millennials and a lot of Generation Z, the generation after me, are getting their information about what the Illuminati is. Then the next result you get is Beyonce and the Illuminati Conspiracy Theory Explained by Rolling Stone. And Rolling Stone is not a truther channel, and as we can see again, Jay-Z and Beyonce fitting in with the narrative. They give us a few big truther channels, like The Black Child, Jason A and Rise, for example, and then they give us Shane, and Shane Dawson is really cashed in on this conspiracy Illuminati trend and many people go to him. I remember seeing someone on Facebook saying they needed to write a paper on a conspiracy theory and someone recommended going to Shane Dawson for information. So I'm not knocking him, I'm simply saying that he is a large YouTuber, he is a part of that mainstream YouTube community and when they get mainstream YouTubers to cover this kind of stuff it's never going to be on the level any truther can do it and we can see as we go down that there's Nexus covering it, Watch Mojo, but this is what you get nowadays. And even PewDiePie did a video called The Illuminati Revealed, obviously for comedic relief, and that's the other angle they take is comedy, is haha, look at the triangles everywhere. And this reminds me of something else that I learned more about, and that is if you look at Illuminati memes, the results are just insane. So, look at this bread. It has Illuminati symbolism because there's a triangle between it. Or, 
look at SpongeBob. He got a triangle somehow from a from a rainbow, so it's Illuminati confirmed. And Illuminati confirmed, you know, it's a big joke. This ancient alien guy that everyone always makes fun of, he's Illuminati, and he got the triangles on the door in this poster or whatever it is behind him. But we can see people really love poking fun at the idea of the Illuminati, and of course. Google can control what results come up first, so can YouTube, these big corporations which have bought out the mainstream news outlets, they control the stories that are written about the Illuminati and what comes up first. So as we can see even if I go to Illuminati and news, this is from August 9th of 2017, the accidental invention of the Illuminati conspiracy. Or Metro U.S. News, the Las Vegas shooting conspiracy theory claims Illuminati to blame. So they write stories, of course, speaking harshly about those who upload videos or who write stories countering the mainstream narrative, and they call it fake news. And it kind of led to this by making this conspiratainment culture. Even if I go to just like the news section here, You'll see here that it says by the BBC, the birthplace of the Illuminati. What is the Illuminati? You ask Google. Here's the answer. This was written by The Guardian. And these two are from last month, not too long ago. So we can see that if these big mainstream outlets are writing these stories, that they're definitely controlling the information. But going back even to YouTube here. So if I type in Illuminati exposed, I get some interesting results and clever news a lot of people watch it they have a video about taylor swift illuminati exposed and it's a chat show and of course they're not going to give you any real information and that's the thing about it is if i were a celebrity or someone struggling and i could get good pr i would totally put up a illuminati symbol or satanic symbol hand gesture or my background that way people could start talking about me and i could get thousands or millions of views on youtube and people would be talking about whether they loved or hated me, I'd still be getting more publicity and paid. So I do think that is another marketing scheme to some degree, is this Illuminati thing. And I don't really like using the word because it's really shallow, it's very surface level. And to me, when I first learned about it, I was very disgusted by all the satanic symbols, but a lot of younger people find it admirable that these celebrities are holding it up. It's almost cool to be a member of the Illuminati now. and. To me, the Illuminati was an umbrella term for the 1%, for the Jesuits, for the Zionists, for the Freemasons, for all of these different secret societies that ran different areas of governments. But sadly, people aren't looking deeper anymore. They're not going very deep down the rabbit hole. They get stuck in this conspiratainment bubble where all they want to know about is Illuminati symbol found in this video, Illuminati symbol on this back of the cereal box. And while that can be enlightening to a small degree, it really doesn't help you understand what's going on in Congress right now with the bills that are being passed. There are people out there who claim to be woke or who claim to be awake who buy into this two-party system and they're screaming about how this political party is the answer. And to me it's silly. If you go deep enough, you realize that both parties are two wings of the same bird. Just like the United States goes to war with countries that don't have a central bank. They go to war with countries that they want access to their natural resources, but they won't give it to them. So it's sad that you have people who are unaware of the policies that are being made. They're unaware of genetically modified organisms and how that's affecting our health, but they can tell you all about the Illuminati symbolism in some music video by some celebrity. This is just a very sad time, and this is what conspiratainment does. This is where the money is. If I wanted to make a lot of money, I'd be over there making lots of conspiratainment videos, because this is what people want to click on. Yeah, you're going to get a lot of hatred, but you're also going to get a lot of subscribers, you're going to get a lot of money, and even what I really find interesting is if I type in Illuminati story time, because story times are huge for the younger generation. And story times are generally affiliated with young women usually giving some type of outrageous story that's so unbelievable and keeps you on your toes. And most of them seem fake to me, but when I type this in, this is what I get. X-Bay was in Illuminati. 
contacted by the Illuminati. I got a letter from the Illuminati in my P.O. box. So we can see here, you got girls making story time videos about being contacted by the Illuminati, dating people in the Illuminati. And the sad thing is that these celebrities are puppets. They're not members of the Illuminati. So some everyday person being a member of the Illuminati is very rare. And if that was the case, then the person probably wouldn't live to put it on YouTube. But this is the culture that it's formed, this conspiratainment culture. And even MTV poke fun at the idea. If you look at Illuminati MTV, they did a story from August 28th this year. Sorry, but the Illuminati totally controlled the 2017 VMAs. So they're poking fun at the idea of exposing them for all the satanic symbolism they put in their music awards, their celebrities put in their lyrics. And this is what we get. MTV writing articles, poking fun about it. And this just reminds me... of even... Obey Clothing, and I know Obey Clothing isn't quote-unquote directly affiliated with the Illuminati, but it's very Orwellian, but you have people that actually wear this on themselves. Clothing that says Obey, see the anonymous mask, and it's all made to get the youth mainly involved with finding the Illuminati more or less a trend, something that's fun, rather than something that's bad or menacing. And a lot of people, you know, they tat it on their body just like their favorite celebrity. And I've seen lots of owl clothing in stores, the Hand of Fatima in stores on clothing. So it's really become just its own trend in within itself. And it's sad that we've gotten to this point where Illuminati is just like one giant meme. It's just a part of pop culture. But this is the world we live in now. And I really wish that more people would look deeper than celebrities, and this isn't a knock at anyone, this is their forte, this is what they enjoy watching or uploading. I don't want to attack any channels if they're doing any of this, I just want to say that. I just want more people to use more critical thinking, I want them to look deeper, I want them to look into how this actually affects everyday people, not just celebrities. And this is conspiratainment for you. This. Triangles everywhere. Triangles on people's heads. And it's a sad reality. But I'd like to know what you guys' thoughts are on this, and I hope that you guys have a wonderful week. I won't be doing another stream for another month, so January 2018, I'll let you guys know when that next stream comes up. But I'll talk to you guys next Wednesday. Take care, and God bless.